What's up everyone, this is Talkers Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can customize your iPhone and try to make it look more minimalistic along with some other really cool customization tricks. For example, you can change the background of the dock on your iPhone or you can change the color of your folders on the dock on your iPhone with a few really cool customization tricks and a glitch. So without further ado, let's get started. <music> So in this video, before we start, I just want to say that if you guys move your apps over to the next page on your home screen, or you put all of your applications inside of a folder and then inside the dock, you get basically a ton of space on your iPhone home screen to then be able to enjoy the wallpaper you have or to just get a minimalistic look. And that's what I've gone towards. And I now have all my applications on the dock on my phone. And I even have a quick shortcut to access them, which is slightly different from my last video. So I will mention more on that later. So in order to do this dock glitch that I've been showing off in the video, you're gonna have to be on iOS 12 to do so. Now you're gonna have to open up settings and then go ahead and select any wallpaper you want. Now you can get some really cool effects with the dynamic wallpaper, so just go ahead and then set it as your home screen. And you can see that the wallpaper looks a little bit different with this dock. So the dock is actually not normal, and that's because I have reduced transparency turned on. So you can see, for example, because I have reduced transparency turned on, the folders are a slightly different color, but the dock is a red color. So if you turn on reduce transparency and then set the wallpaper, you get a different effect from setting the wallpaper and then turning on reduce transparency. On top of that, I recommend testing both of these options out with the dynamic wallpapers to get the white folders I showed off in earlier in the video. So after we've got the dock sorted out, what I recommend you do is you download a keyboard called Swiftly Keys and this is going to allow you to customize the keyboard on your iPhone. The keyboard spacing is actually very good and it will slowly learn how you type so it can space out the keys in a better, more optimized way so that way you get less spelling errors. So I recommend setting it as the black keyboard just because that one looks really cool. But if you really want, you can also set it to the custom color that you created the dock just so you have some elements on your iOS device that match. Another way to switch up the look on your iPhone is to change the font size. Now, the way you would do this is just go to your settings and then from here, go ahead and tap on display and brightness. Now, once you've done that, you're gonna get a screen like so, and then just go ahead and tap on text size and swipe all the way to the large letter A. Now there is a way to make it much larger, but it's pointless, so I won't really go over that in this video. But because you change the text size, many more elements on your iOS device will also increase. Now, maybe you already have the size increased on your device, and you can also decrease it, which is pretty cool. Something else I recommend is you turn on bold text. You will need to restart your iPhone for this. It does it automatically, but the text on your iPhone will become bold, and it just gives your device a new look, and I really love how this looks on my phone. So. Changing up the text and changing up the thickness of the text can give your device a new look. Another cool way to customize your iPhone is to change the size of the apps on your home screen. So the way you can do this is to tap on the view button and then this is what normal the standard view looks like. This is what the zoomed view looks like. So you can see the apps and the icons and text get much larger so you can choose whichever one you prefer. A lot of people don't even know this exists so I really recommend setting with these options inside of the iOS settings app. Another cool trick you can do on your iPhone is to basically go to your settings, general, accessibilities, and if you want to increase the contrast of your screen and make colors pop a little bit more, make sure the blue and yellow filter is turned on and then increase the intensity of the contrast on your phone, but don't do it too much, but it's just enough to make certain colors pop a little bit more and it really feels like your device has a new display in it and the colors look amazing. So maybe if you have an older iPhone and you want to have, I guess, a brighter, more accurate display, go ahead and do this, and I'm sure you will not be disappointed. Something else you can do inside of accessibilities is if you reduce motion, you get a really cool animation, or I should say lack of animation. And something I noticed is that the iPhone freaks out when you have too many animations going on at once. And so by doing this, your iPhone will actually not be working as hard. And what's cool about this, is the software just seems more fluid and there's less lag going on in the background. So opening up apps and closing apps is actually quicker this way instead of having the zoom in animation every time you open up an app. Now, in order to get that minimalistic feel that there's no clutter on your home screen after we've done all these tricks to get 
your iPhone customized the way you want, you can actually install an application that has a shortcut to the apps you would really probably want to open on a daily basis. Now, in my last video, I mentioned how to get a bunch of 3D shortcut toggles. You had to pay money in order to get the shortcuts to open up non-stock applications. Well, this one I actually found is free and you can open up any application you want on your phone that's supported. So, hope you guys do enjoy this video. This is just a video to customize your iPhone and as always, peace.